Hello, my friends, and welcome back. I am coming on to get ready to do a layout for Shimmers Paints, and I am prepping what I call a palette, yes, I am, for uh, a little paint fest I'm going to have today. Now, I'm working with the color kits, specifically the November 2024 color kits. Here is my palette. So what I do for my palette is I just take a piece of white cardstock from my stash and put it inside the packaging from my paper kits, just like that. And I have a bright white surface so I can really see the colors. Now, why do I do that? I do have palettes, right? <laughs> but I uh, want to be just a little bit lazy and not have to clean up. And that's an easy peasy way for me to do it. So I can go ahead and pop all of my glorious colors right on to the palette and just go to town. I have space to mix and all of that. So I do have a nice unboxing on my channel for this, but this is the color palette for the November kits. This is the bonus bundle, which is gonna be a great addition. I'm so happy. So let's see, we have three shimmers involved. We have two of the sprays. We have one little piece here, which is a creamies in the color called Witch's Blue. Now this is in the brand new packaging that I am freaking excited about. It's a watercolor pen, like a full size. So I gave it a little bit of spritz so it's ready when I want it to be ready. These right here already have the liquid in them so I don't have to prep them. And of course our sprays, I wanna give it just a nice gentle mixa mixa so that when I spray it on, which I'm gonna give myself a generous amount and let me explain the why. Because I end up pulling different amounts of it. That's the ready or not. Um, in, and make new colors just you know because I like to see what all see how the pigments on the bottom I want to give it a nice gentle roll not a shake a nice gentle roll um and then I just mix and kind of get an idea of what I have in store for my colors I get really excited to play with different combos so I'm going to separate those two glorious colors out nicely I tend to put the bottles kind of close to it so I can see the names of the colors. I don't know why. I have them right here, but we do what we do. All right, so the other thing that's nice about having a dedicated, you know, quotation marks people palette is that I, um, you know, I won't finish this little painting sesh all in one go. So it'll give me the ability to... Uh, you know, like reactivate it, you know, spray a little water on it and it's going to be good to go again. So yeah, we do what we do. All right. So I've got my exquisite colors here. I tend to keep the caps right with them, especially if the, if I have a couple of like oranges, we'll say we like to do that. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is get a nice pile of my cheapo pink brushes. I am not, um, I'm not married to any specific paintbrushes. I just like a variety. Guys, look at paintbrushes on paintbrushes. Rarely are they of any kind of high value, which is perfectly fine. Ooh, the mail truck is here early and I'm expecting something. How excite. Okay, let's start with this one because you guys might be like, why is this all cut apart? <laughs> it's because this is on the other side, and I thought it was such a cool piece that I wanted to make sure I had this. And then anything left over would be for this. So, like, I can paint this piece, this piece, anything that's mostly whole, I can feel like I can paint. I hope that makes sense. Now, if you're like, well, they're leaves. First of all, y'all, I can make green so easily with this. But our leaves are also changing, so I can do whatever I want. Okay, so what I think I'll do with our palette, I'm going to grab some of this glorious witch's blue and just get it down here. Oh, and I can't show you right now because I have too much liquid. Um, it occurred to me, I'm like, wait, I want the name on my little palette. So I just grabbed a little skinny Sharpie and wrote the name on the back and we're good to go. 
All right, I'm, I'm dabbing this off because I want all of it that I can have. And then a little wipe wipe. I've got the world's oldest, probably not, paper towel roll. I literally use them forever. And um, it's kind of cool, kind of cool. Use them forever and then eventually I'll switch it out. This year I'm actually probably gonna have to switch it out. I take a little bit of that blue with green and just kind of see what we get because I like to play. And I'm going to start making a nice little fun base. I think it needs more blue for my leafy bits. But now the shimmers will dry really nicely. And I will, ooh, nice green, nice autumny green. So I will be able to, you know, tweak it, add more of this, more of that. It's, it's going to be fun. Okay. I just have this nice, easy paintbrush. And I think what I'm going to do, I'm wondering if I need the smaller version of it. I might. Um, I'm just going to go ahead. Do I want to bring in some of the teal at the end of time? I might because I just want to see what it looks like. So what I'm going to do is just paint up some of my bits. I'm not going to bring in a lot of this to start. I just want to see. Because it's, I mean, the shimmers have such a great color payoff. Ooh, that's pretty. All right, I'm going to get my paint on. Um, I made it too dark, but that's fine. I just wanted to see what I had. And I'm going to come, you know, I'll come back and forth a little bit. But I just wanted to show you some of these pieces I'm going to paint today. I have whatever leafy bits I've decided are big enough. I've got this sheet here, and then I've got this one that is going to be a blast. Okay, I like that blue. However, I do want to bring in just a little bit more green to it. So this is what I end up doing is I just go back and forth the whole time, and I have so much fun with it. Love this, love this. All right, so the teal the end of time is pigmented. And it's one of those things I think is great because this is how we get to know our product. Okay. All right. I like that tone right there. I do, I do. So I'm going to just go in and start dabbing on a little paint. I don't have any huge need to cover the entire leaf because that's where I can add a lighter or darker color or whatnot. So I think on this one, I'm going to go ahead and kind of do the bottom portions of it. Ooh, this one a little bit more because it would be in shadow. Oh, I didn't tell you guys. I also prepped all of these with our new clear gesso. It's got a nice little squeezy bottle and it is, um, it's not super, super gritty. So it feels nice to paint on top of. But I did that yesterday. I was wrapping up another project and I just went ahead and quickly with a, uh, a room key card from a hotel, just zhoosh, zhoosh, zhoosh right across them. Of course, I'll have missed a couple spots because, you know, I am I am me, but I think it'll all come together. Okay, I'm going to have myself a little paint fest for the next couple of hours, and I'll meet you right back here. Hey, guys. All right, so we've got some traction. Let me show you where we are at this time. I did go ahead and paint up all of those funny little bits, and I had so much fun. So much fun creating them, and... <laughs> Turned out almost everything I did, I ended up finishing it with the shimmers in Christmas cheer because everything has the best little golden glow. So, little tip -a on that. Now, I want to fussy cut out these exquisite pieces. They are absolutely amazing. So, I want to do that. So, I'm seeing the idea of having a big old pile of these treasures, right? I think I'm going to take this piece away for now. And I also want to back the cup piles of the month, guys. Look at these hilarious little gnomies. Now, when you receive the cup file, this actually had little veins through it, this leaf. But I thought I would leave that solid um, for no huge reason other than I was kind of thinking about making that into a shaker pocket. And the leaf would, you know, be really cute above. So I might do that with both. We'll see. So I think I'll go ahead and back them in just a moment with some of our fun goodies, um, some of our papers. And then I want to just pile up a bunch of these things and a bunch of these things, because they're stunning. 
with and use this photo of myself. This was at um, Blake's Cider Mill, which is a place like 40 minutes from here. And they had a big truck bed with a sizable pumpkins. And I thought they were so cute. So I think that would be super cute. So I'm going to take a little bit of time and watch a show, cut out a bunch of these goodies and back my sweet little friends. Now I have enough paper left here. Oh, and this cardstock guys, is just a scrap piece of cardstock from my stash. I'm going to go ahead and back my photo, mat my photo, however we want to phrase it. Oh, this is a sticky mat um, with the same paper because why not? It'll all go perfectly together. And I'll see you right back here. So guys, for my cut file, I ended up wanting very specific colors. Like I want the pumpkin orange color, which happens to be pumpkin pie for my little pumpkin, right? And then I wanted my sweet little <laughs> no meat to have a blue hat. So what I did is I just took straight color from our color kits and swatched it really quick. And I'm going to cut some colors right out of that. I thought that would be super fun. And I mean, my sweet little Nomi isn't, I cut them, let's see. I cut them, I'm measuring really quickly. Oh, under five inches tall. They're not very big. I just think they're hilarious. And oh, also, remember how I said I thought I was going to make this into a shaker? My lines are way too skinny to be able to do that because I cut it really small. So we'll put my my little sequins bits elsewhere. All right, so let's take a look at this. I had so much fun creating my little Nomi friends. They're so cute. I'm going to start with just this one here with a cute little hairdo. I've got this here. Now, I love this pattern. Let's see what's on the back. Ooh, I love that pattern. Jeez. You guys, the struggle is real. So... I've got my girl here. I think she should go on this side because I have more free space there. And then I also like that this is a check and I'm wearing a check shirt. So let's just go ahead and give myself a little place to sit. We'll start with that because, you know, having a place to rest is always nice. We'll just go right onto this. And guys, these pattern papers are nice and strong. Dirty, which is fabulous. Now, I don't even know. I might do some splatters or something with um, my mixed media goodies, but I've done so much painting and I ended up using just, you know, the straight color for these cute little cut files. So, hmm, might be good. Okay, I have that. What is the backside to this again? You know, it's kind of nice. That is quite nice for my photo. Why not? Let's go ahead and mat my photo with that. It's a nice, deep, rich color. And clearly these pumpkins that I have are quite vibrant. So that's gonna be a win. Now guys, I have got dots as well as really pretty gold alphas. So I've gotta figure out what I wanna do for a title, but we'll see. Things just kind of come along depending on space and all that for me. We'll see how it goes. Oh, and I did cut out all of this gorgeousness. Guys, I have so much fun prepping these kits. Okay, so I'm popping just a little foam on the back. And we will, you know what, I'm going to just go for it. That way I don't have to think about it. And let me see if I can find my favorite T-square ruler because, you know, we have faves. So I'm going to go ahead and pop it like this. So fun. There we go. Boop. Then I have my girl here who is hilarious. She needs to be popped up too. She has to be star of all of the shows. Of course, I run out of adhesive. Of course I do. That's what happens. Okay. That made no sense. Let's go like that. Okay. But that's all right. I have a little back up for right now. So let's go ahead and put her here and she's just going to hang out with me, right? Then what I want to do is have some of these pieces that I fussy cut. We can have them coming in. 
We've got these gorgeous pumpkin pieces. So let's see, let's see. I love these pretty little berry pieces. So let's see if I can get a reddish one coming up. So this was my thought that I have all of these gorgeous bits, right? But we also have, ooh, <laughs> these sweet little ones that I went ahead and painted. So if I did that and I had a, a painty one and a fancy one and go back and forth, I thought it would be super pretty. See how this one, it's, you know, the gorgeous die cut ones. But then we can have a pretty little pumpkin. Let's go ahead and reuse. Oh my goodness, my little pieces. Let's get some of this popping up because we have it over here. So I think it'll be fun. I just want to layer up some things. You know what? We can even bring in some of these sunflowers because, you know, I created them, so why not? Now we also have, I forgot, I forgot. We also have in these treasures, um, all of these die cut pieces. So, ooh, look at, oh my gosh, what, what do I wanna use? Oh, Crisp Days Cozy Ways. I love that little dog. Oh, I think that little dog gets to go right here. Guys, this layout's almost done because there's so many gorgeous pieces to tuck in. So I didn't use a leaf yet over there, so I'm not gonna bring in a leafy bit. I did use a couple sunflowers. Um, do I want to bring in? Okay, so we have that pumpkin there. I think that's cute. Now what I could do for leafy bits, oh, you know what, instead of that, let me bring in these acorns. I'm gonna pop up a couple acorns and guys, I'm gonna do all kinds of the li little fun bendy bends I like to do. And um, then guys, I have the cute little mix from the bonus bundle. So I get to pop all kinds of those pieces in. <sighs> I'm overly excited. So I think my title, well, Crisp Days Cozy Ways is part of it. Should I put a little something here? What could I put up there to just kind of, I could, go ahead. I have that, that right there is where I would need to go. So I'm starting to pop the things in. I just thought I would let you guys know that these little dots, they have a pop dot, um, they have a pop dot on them. So like you can totally use the pop dot, but if it's not your vibe, then you just take it off and use the pop dot for something else because I've done it both ways. And I love to have a little bit of dimension with all of my bits and pieces. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just trying to figure out exactly what I am looking for. Ooh, I like that. Okay, super cute right there. Now, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna pop all of these things up. Now I do have these alphas. And I love that they're gold gold because then I can bring in all kinds of these little gold balls. So I'll get a title on there and it might just be Blake's because that's where we were. That's, you know, easy enough. So let's see. Let's see. And these have a nice little bit of adhesive. Okay, let me get these pieces down. I'm going to get my title on. I might be able to do my title right here on her pretty little hat. I have all of these pieces down. Guys, they're so cute. I did add these little blue leafy bits because I just absolutely love the shade. I think it's so darn pretty. So I have them added into my three clusters. Now I'm just going to go in with a few sequins, guys. And the things that took time on this, because putting this part together took no time at all. But I backed my cut files, which was super fun. Here's my title, Blake's. Um, and I did have a painting sesh on another on another day because I really like to enjoy the process of painting up my little goodies with these kits. I think it's fantastic. And I think I told you guys that I used our new clear gesso with it. Perfection. Very good stuff. And I love the little squeezy bottle. I'm already flying through it though. That's the only issue. <laughs> so I have that. I'm going to pop on a few sequins. I'm going to have links down below for the blog, the Facebook group, the website, all of the places where you can get your hands on the kits and see some inspiration and share what you are doing. And guys, I'll see you ever so soon with another video. I'm just going to decorate up a few bits and I'll have a few still shots to follow.
by a pronoun friends. Oh, shoot, I forgot to tell you guys. When you put in your order, put my name in the comment section to score yourself a freebie. Super important. I forgot to tell you guys that. And I always like to make sure that you guys, you know, get a little, a little something, something. Okay, guys, a few sequins, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now, friends.